Alright, well at this point we could go to the final world. But I think there's some other stuff that we gotta do first if we want to get, uh... 100% completion. Not all of it we can do yet, but... Most of it we can, so I think the first thing we're gonna do... Is... We got the Peter Pan D-Link last time, but I actually never showed off... Really what it does. So let's just farm on some weak enemies and try to level it up, shall we? Here we go, Peter Pan. Doop, 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 doop. Where are the enemies? Here they are. Oh wow, just one hit killed them. Oh wow, level up already. Here we get float. Which as you can see means that uh, we float, we, the gravity's effect on us gets lowered when we have the float ability. Eh, come on. It's weird, I didn't get enough D-Link points in order to get to the next part. Fill up my meter again, please. Thank you. Also, if we can get the, uh, get up to the finisher, that would also be pretty great. We're too powerful. <laughs> We're actually too powerful to get to the finisher. Which is pretty funny. We'll have to, like, go into the castle in order to get to the finisher. Because the Peter Pan dealing finisher is pretty good. It's not, like, as good as Zax or anything, but... Okay, you guys aren't going to give any dealing points. That's right, we still have Bonk Time equipped, that's great. Oh, one other thing that I want to do. At this point, now that we've grabbed, like, all the stickers... ...and the treasure chests... ...we're actually going to unequip Sonic Impact. Because I don't like Sonic Impact. It makes it a lot harder to spam the dash attack. And Sonic Impact has, like, no invincibility frames, which means it's a lot less safe when we take on the bonus bosses. Alright, come on. Peter Pan D-Link, let's get to the finisher. Here we go, Sword Bill! <laughs> of course, we were, the enemy was too far away for us to do anything with it. But look how rapidly we're hitting our Keyblade. It's pretty fun. Oh, there's there we go. And now we get Double Strike, which basically means every strike of the Keyblade we do hits enemies twice. So basically deals double damage. Pretty good. And now we've got Tinkerbell as our picture, eh? Come on, I want to get to the second finisher. I don't think we're getting to the second finisher. I should have picked a world with tougher enemies. Because all these guys are dying in one hit, I can't build up the finish gauge. Well, shoot. Oh, speaking of which... Oh! <laughs> EXP Walker just gave us a level up. Awesome. Speaking of EXP Walker... Okay, we're missing one HP prize plus, two Link prize pluses, two Lucky Strikes, a Cure Boost, two Item Boosts, one of each of the main screens, and then... <laughs> that one. Okay. Well, actually, okay. Technically not. Technically, we've got one of those Link Prize Pluses here. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were practicing Ars Solemn. Oh, shoot. Magnet Spiral, yeah. Okay, so technically we actually do have some of the abilities that we're getting. Cool, cool, cool. Like that Kuriga. Okay, well, change of plans. We're going to Neverland to level up our commands. Here we go. Now we get the second Peter Pan D-Link finisher. The Barrel Roll. Where we can just basically do a loop-de-loop -loop multiple times. It's pretty fun. Alright, that's it for the Peter Pan D-Link. At this point, the D-Link we're going to be using is Experiment 626. 
But first, uh, let's go over to the Ansem Special. Because we do want to start leveling that bad boy up. Oh boy, <laughs> Kiraga, Magnet Spiral, and Limit Storm all reached their maximum level. Awesome. Alright, next thing we're gonna do, we've got two cures and two arrows that are leveled up. We're gonna meld the two cures with the arrow, and for each one we're gonna attach a Shimmering Crystal to get Kira with the final freaking ability we haven't seen. Dark Screen. Decreases the damage you take from dark attacks. And for Terra, the fact that this is literally the last ability we get is very ironic and very fitting. So here we go, we're just gonna do that twice. To get ourselves the two dark screens that we need. Yay, wonderful. It just occurred to me, I don't think we ever showed off what Magnet Spiral does. Gather. It does that. It's not amazing, but eh, I guess it's kinda cool. Reason I showed that off is because we're now going to meld Magnet Spiral with Zero Gravaga. And we are actually not going to attach a synthesis material to it because, uh, nothing, no synthesis material would give us anything we need. We get Transcendence and it has Combo F boost anyways, because that can just happen occasionally. Cool. Alright. Uh, we need to keep leveling up Poison Edge. So start leveling up those two Kuras. Transcendence. Creates an anti-gravity field no enemy can escape, then deal damage by sending them hurling in all directions. Uses two slots, darn it. Don't have enough room for that. We leveled up our Kuras and our Meteor Crash. That's wonderful. And our Poison Edge. Sweet. That's good. Because we want to meld our Poison Edge with our Warp. We'll equip an Abounding Crystal. This gives us Sacrifice with Link Prize Plus. Sacrifice. Expend HP to perform a single powerful attack. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah, I never actually looked at the ice creams we made. So we made Vanilla Glitz can be eaten once to activate the Critical Impact Command Style. Bueno Volcano can be eaten once to activate the Firestorm Command Style. Spark Lemon can be eaten once to activate the Thunderbolt Command Style. Royal Berry can be eaten once to activate the Blade Charge Command Style. Rock and Crunch can be eaten once to activate the Rock Breaker Command Style. And Big Bad Pete can be eaten once to activate the Dark Impulse Command Style. There we go. But yeah, that's a thing that you can have. I think I'll level up my Sonic Blades. Those are good. Well, I want to level those up. Well, that's what Sacrifice does. Actually, so if we go back to My Pebbles, we need to lower our HP a bunch for My Pebbles. So here we're going to try to unlock the next finish command, the green one, where we have got to, we got to fall the critical health a bunch of times. And to do that, we're going to intentionally get hit by these powerful enemies. It would help if we were a higher level, or a lower level. Okay. So I believe, if memory serves, if we go back to finish commands, yeah. So Z oh, that's actually counted up twice now. Wonderful. If we, like, step on the save point for, like, literally half a second. Nope, just got all of our HP back anyways. Doggone it. I only wanted a tiny bit back. There we go. I got beat up and knocked down to, like, one HP a whole bunch. And so we unlocked a brand new finish command. That finish command is Heal Strike. Press X at the right times for a series of charging spin attacks. These spin attacks restore your HP. Yes, that is right. It is a finish command that can actually heal yourself, which is pretty great. So obviously we gotta rename this bad boy. <laughs> Heal Strike is now the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. <laughs> he can stop people from dying. Well, I can't wait. Let's see what the, let's see what we can do with Darth Plagueis, shall we? Wow, that did not do what I thought it was going to. I mistimed that. <laughs> Let's try this on somebody else. Oh, goody. Wasn't that exciting. Let's show off what Transcendence does. Wow. That was pretty cool looking. And it instantly let me use Darth Plagueis. 
That's awesome. All right, we got a bunch of stuff to make here. So we're gonna make Cure Arrow Abounding Crystal for Cure with Lucky Strike. We're gonna do that twice to get our remaining Lucky Strikes. That's my last Abounding Crystal, so good thing we got there just in time. Next, Cure Arrow with a Soothing Crystal, which gives us item boost, and again, we do that twice to get our last two item boosts that we're not actually going to use. <laughs> Wonderful. One other thing we're going to do, Strike Raid plus Blizzard, attach a Shimmering Crystal to give us Blizzard Screen. And with that, all of those together should be our last abilities that we need. We won't be able to equip them all at the same time, because of course we won't. Alright, Sonic Blade, I'll continue leveling up you up later, but if we go to abilities now, we're still missing an HP prize plus, aren't we? Well then we'll do Cura Cura Hungry Crystal to get that duck on it, that's not the one I wanted. My mistake, to get the final freaking HP prize plus, Fire Fire Hungry Crystal. There we go. That should please everybody, right? <laughs> right? I hope so. We can also create our one of our final commands. Let's see, it is Geo Impact plus Quake. Which gives us Meteor. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for that one. That's kind of the last big command we have left to level up. All right, do we have the fire uh, No, we don't have that equipped. Here we go, final fire uh. We also gotta start leveling up our Kiragas. We need to make sure we got a bunch of Kir at least four Kiragas at max level, just in preparation for the uh, bonus bosses. Meteor. Bring a giant meteor crashing down on the enemy, triggering an explosion on impact. Uses two slots. But hey, what you gonna do? I don't know. We should hopefully be the last commands we have to level up. Oh, and what a dingus! I didn't re-equip the Ansem special in order to level that up. I was still at Darth Plagueis, so I wasn't getting that CP. That's okay, we should still get the new finish command. <laughs> Anyways, because we're about to uh, get our way up to the top. There we go, we unlocked Explosion! I knew we were about to get there. All right, Terra, charge up that meteor. Meteor is pretty nice because you're invincible while you're using it. Oh man, wrecked. All right, here we go. Look at that, full stars everywhere. We have all the abilities. Heck yes. Now we can start leveling up stuff that we want to level up. Well, we already were doing that, but... Do we have... How many Thunder Surges do we have? We have three. No, that's not good enough. We need another. We need another Thunder Surge. Can we melt the Fire Dashes? Yeah, we can. Fun... fun bleh, bleh. Oh, no, we don't have Fundaga. Oh, that's, that's, no, that's not good enough. We need another Thunder Surge. We're gonna need at least four Thunder Surges for the bonus bosses. No, I'm not just being picky. We actually do. Four Thunder Surges, four Kiragas is kind of the ideal deck setup for the insanely difficult bonus bosses. We're not even gonna be fighting them right away. We're saving that for the end of the Let's Play, but I want to be prepared in advance. So here we go. We buy a Thunder Surge. All right, we also got Explosion. We gotta rename this. <laughs> Hulk hands! <laughs> Anyone remember those commercials for Hulk hands? Hulk hands with real Hulk sounds! <laughs> well, that that's what it is now. And unfortunately, now that we've named it, we gotta go back. Uh, let's go back to the Ansem special. And ideally, we can actually start defeating enemies. But first, it's time for everyone's favorite part of the game. Command board, because we got the new Neverland board. Oh yeah, new game. Uh, here we go. The skull board, our opponents are Peter Pan and Captain Hook, 12,000 GP goal. Buy up the expensive zones early and make opponents cough up GP in Neverland. 
This board actually has a pretty different strategy from the other ones. Most of the, for the other boards, the strategy is move around the board, collect the checkpoints, and go back to the bank, rinse and repeat. Not necessarily what you want to do for this one. And it's mainly because of that special uh, purple bonus panel. No, we're not shuffling the playing order. All right. Okay, so as you can see, there's this island right over here with a lot of really expensive properties on it. We're going to want to buy one of these up. Now, unfortunately... Oh my gosh, Photon Charge? That's... that's great. Oh man, Photon Charge is another... Photon Charge is another shot lock that we haven't gotten yet. We don't need to buy it from the bonus panel, but we can. So, if we can increase our chances of that, that would be great. And unfortunately, Peter Pan and Captain Hook actually will use their decks. Peter Pan will often just try to roll as much as he possibly can, and Captain Hook has a tendency to try to stun you. Okay, yes, please, Peter Pan, get through here first. I would greatly appreciate that. Oh, uh, we'll see about that, Peter Pan. Captain Hook, if you get a four and buy up my Photon Charge. Oh, he's so Captain Hook's actually not putting a panel down here. Which, I mean, I, I can get that. One would be great. <gasps> yes! Yes! We get Photon Charge. Oh, yes. That's amazing. Okay, so we've landed on this rather expensive property. At this point, what we want to do is try landing on the purple properties as much as possible. Now, you might be wondering why. Well, remember how on the first board, the the little purple sparkly boards gave us the Keyblade Glider? Which let us move to any square that we wanted? This is basically the opposite. If we land on the purple stuff here, we get Pixie Dust. And it basically allows us to fly another opponent of our choice to any square that we want. So basically, we can be like, Peter Pan, you're going to move to the, my expensive property over here. And he has to move to that expensive property over there. Definitely putting down Meteor to level that up. You see how it's going to be going? That's how it's going to be going. And the AI doesn't really know how to use the Pixie Dust properly. But we can. Captain Hook is so proud of himself. Fair enough, Captain Hook. And as you can see, down at the bottom in the center, there's that convenient little circle with the purple glitter there. That's exactly where we're heading, and we're basically just going to keep doing a loop there over and over again. Oh my gosh, is that another bonus panel? What's this one? Mind Square? Yeah, why not? I know I've got a bunch of them already, but... Uh-oh, this is annoying. Because Peter Pan just bought a property over there. This board's rather complicated as well. There's not really a convenient path to go through that hits all of the checkpoints. Oh my gosh, really? Pixie Dust! Okay. I want to move Peter Pan. Peter Pan, you're gonna move onto my photon charge and pay me money. Oh, come on. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Peter Pan, that's just the brakes. And as you can see, I now have literally twice as much money as them. And they all they did was they each landed on my property once. And we can because this is it's literally just seven squares that we can just do a loop through over and over again. So we can keep landing on this, keep getting pixie dust, keep moving people back onto our properties, and just get more and more money. And it's kind of stupid. <laughs> you can't stop me. <laughs> Can I level up this panel at all? 850? Yeah, that's oh worth my. it. They'll have to pay me like twice as much now if they land on it. And they will be landing on it. 
And this levels up my photon charge. Oh no! Literally, if I dump one of them on that property, because Neverland has so many expensive properties, you don't start with that much money. If you have to pay someone a bunch of money, you can go bankrupt. Or end up having to sell some of your properties. Blah. I'm gonna have to pay Peter Pan. No! And I can't even buy him out. You voluntarily moved there, Peter Pan. Uh, Captain Hook, unless you roll big, you're gonna be paying a lot of money. Oof. Yeah. Rats missed it again. you, Captain Hook. You actually did it. Oh, yes! Landed on it again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Peter Pan. <laughs> I want Peter Pan to go bankrupt. He's not gonna go bankrupt, but he's gonna have to sell a bunch of his command panels back. I'll have to sell that one. That's what I wanted. Because I'm si I don't want to have to pay that. <laughs> oh no, he had to sell another one as well. Oof. And just like that, Peter Pan is on death's door. In fact, if he lands on Captain Hook's property... Well, he can't. Because he can choose which way... Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> no, Captain Hook. Okay, good. <laughs> So help me, Captain Hook, if you do that. You know what? I'll roll two dice. Okay. Because if we get a seven, then we get to land on this bad boy again. Okay. I'll put down my, uh, Fandaga. All right! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Terra only has four properties. It's all he needs. It is all he needs. <laughs> Captain Hook's like, <laughs> you think you could beat me? Yes, Captain Hook, I, I absolutely can. See, Captain Hook could have landed on Pixie Dust, moved me on top of one of his expensive panels, but he didn't. Oh my gosh, I can get Blitz for free? Go. Yes, please. It's not free, but y you know what I mean. Yeah. Oof! Oh, Peter. That hurts. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's what I'd be saying too, Peter. This is why you gotta go for the Pixie Dust strategy. You'd think Peter Pan would be abusing Pixie Dust if anybody would. But no. The rats, that's just too expensive. Ah! <laughs> Peter's like, oh yay, I finally found some money! <laughs> and then he promptly spends it and puts down his only for mini kit. Peter Pan, you are heading right for towards the void. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Going down. Yes. Oh, Captain Hook, you should not have done that. Peter Pan's probably going to bankrupt himself, so. Here, Hook, <laughs> pay me more money. <laughs> Blast that Peter Pan! Oh, wait, no. Blast that Terra! <laughs> Give me money, P uh, <laughs> Captain Hook. He sold his own expensive panel back to the bank. I guess that makes sense, because then he only has to sell one. Okay, Peter, I don't think this is going to end well for... Okay. You, you 
survived for now, but how long will that last? Okay! Okay! <laughs> Oh, so close. Okay, you got the big boy roll. Good job. Still gonna be paying some money. Especially since you're coming up on Terra Town. Now Captain Hook has to run all the way back to get the red checkpoint. I guess I would love to put down my uh, quick blitz panel. There we go. Oh, Peter Pan, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it looks like you're in some rough trouble. Oof! Oh, that's gotta hurt. That prize cube's getting a whole lot more money. They are both so low on money. If I if I drop Peter Pan on my panel again. Oh, is this the only... Oh, I can only upgrade this one, eh? Uh... Sure. All right. Why not? I thought that would let me put GP into my other big boy panel. Uh-oh, Peter Pan, I think, may have dodged the gauntlet. At least the rest of the gauntlet. He already hit the gauntlet many times. <laughs> Captain Hook really, really wants to get to the bank. Oh boy, I can invest more Okay, no, I'm actually not going to invest more money in that, though. Ah! Oh, really, Peter Pan, you're choosing to give... Oh! So he's actually going to use it now. And he's going to move me. Okay, where is he going to move me? Oh, okay. Um, that actually helps me. I mean, I can't keep doing the pixie dust strategy over and over again, but you just put me next to one of the checkpoints that's really far away, so. See what I mean? They don't they don't really know how to use it properly. These games tend to be a bit long when you play on the Neverland board. There we go. But like, it's really easy to win if you know how to do it properly. Hmm. Oh no, I gotta pick Captain Hook 67 bucks. No, I don't really wanna buy his fire panel. Thanks for the money, Peter Pan! Now Peter Pan's going around in the circle, but it's a much worse idea for him, because most of those squares are, he has to pay me. <laughs> Captain Hook is laughing, thinking he's doing such a good job, when in actuality, he is not. Oh, Captain Hook gets a chance at Pixie Dust as well. Where are you going to fly me to? Why are you flying me to Peter Pan's panel instead of one of your own? You, do you just... <laughs> Does he just want me to keep having to... <laughs> okay. Okay, actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna roll. If I roll a two, I go down. Nope. Hmm. I don't, why did Captain Hook drop me on Peter Pan's panel? The Peter panel. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, Peter Pan, you gotta pay me more money. It's your lot in life.
Peter Pan, so help me if you move me back to that stupid square really far away. What the heck? The AI are just keep moving me. They're like, you are not getting that red checkpoint. No. Wow. What a butt. They're like, don't you want to buy his gravel rod? I don't. Okay, that's super annoying. <laughs> well, Captain Hook just got a hefty payday. And he's about to get another one. They're just, they're nickel and diming me, basically. Like, I keep having to pay a bunch of, like, really tiny amounts. But they've had to pay me so much. Peter Pan's doing the same strategy that I've been doing. But it's working out really badly for him. Because he's really bad at it. <laughs> Oh, Captain Hook, that was not nearly as much money as I thought it was going to be. keeps uttering the exact same laugh over and over again. Aw, come on! Finally, Peter Pan left that stupid circle. <laughs> and he paid me to do so. I love it. My gosh, it's taking forever to get to that red checkpoint. <laughs> it's still taking forever to get to the red checkpoint. Finally! No. Peter Pan, that is, that's the wrong direction. I mean, Peter Pan's not winning the game anyways. But Hook's making a comeback. Oh man, Hook just made a big comeback. But he also helped me make a comeback, so thank you, Hook. Why, yes, I will put my Dark Age down. There we go. Peter Pan's like, I'll be safe at the bank! Cool. Wait, I don't win? But I had enough GP when I made it to the end. There we go. Oh, 
Justice. Pan had to sell the stupid command panel he kept making me land on. Alright, Peter Pan has literally $300 to his name, and that is it. No properties, no hope. Like, he, he's done. He's done. <laughs> Captain Hook doesn't even realize that he's about to lose. How do you like this? How do you like this? Even if I roll free ones, I still make it back to the bank and win. Well, that game took a while. That was an amusing one, though. And hey, we got Photon Charge, which is amazing. <laughs> Easy. We also got Blitz and Mind Square, but we already had those. Okay, what about what about Photon Charge and Meteor? Yeah. Photon Charge just instantly becomes max level. That's amazing. Okay, we're immediately equipping that one then. Photon Charge. Rush targets repeatedly and attack with the power of light. It's basically Sonic Shadow, but light-themed instead of dark-themed. And it's a bit more powerful. Alright. So we're back here in Mirage Arena. Okay, so the Mar Arena missions we still have. We still have to get a bunch of medals during uh, the missions. We'll have to kind of do that towards the end, I think. We've completed a lot of those. We need to do Rumble Racing, and we need to win seven command board games. Okay. Let's start by doing Rumble Racing, and I'm just gonna skip all of this. All you have to do is basically each course, Country Chase, Disney Drive, Grand Spree, Grand uh, Castle Circuit. Make sure you have the default settings. And other than that, it is literally no different than what we did it in Disney Town, so I'm just gonna skip all of this, and I'll cut to when we've won all of it. Alright, Rumble Racing is now done. We got several level ups, plus we got another arena level up for getting a certain amount of medals. Which is pretty great. Alright, there's not really a lot that I want to use my medals on yet. I guess in the meantime what we can do is we can do more command board. Let's see... Okay, let's, let's play on the spaceship board again. Because we never actually won first on that. Also, we haven't played this one in the Mirage Arena. It's just uh, us and Stitch. All right. I'll see you guys later. Alright, we trounced Stitch. <laughs> like, trounced him. Ooh, and we unlock the secret board! Finally, the last command board has been unlocked because we've won on every single board. The Stitch board was the only one we hadn't won on. So now we unlock the final one, the secret board. And look at the size of that board. 20,000 GP, three players. Let's show off this monstrosity, shall we? Look at how big it is. It's in the shape of the little Keyblade icon. Uh, no. Not shuffling the playing order. All right. It's basically a more advanced version of the first board. So we got a bunch of bonus panels here, even though it is the Mirage Arena. Mirage Arena usually has fewer bonus panels, but not this time. All right. Wow. Bunch of magic cards, eh? All right. <laughs> Ooh, six. So we can either buy a 240 property or a 250 property. You know what? Let's go up. And we'll level up Fundaga. There we go. My turn. That's the way. Ready? So Aqua gets to go her own way, and Ventus goes my way. I see how it is. Do I want Aurora? Not really. I want to go up to this checkpoint up here. All right. Aqua, are you going to buy the Fire Dash? Nice. You are. Remember back when we were friends? Terra's like, I don't want to speak to either of you again, but I will play command board with you. Yeah. So I can steal your stuff. There we go. I didn't really want to get low numbers, because now Ventus is probably gonna overtake me.
Yep, sure enough. Thank you. Watch me land on whatever Ventus puts down here. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna try to make sure that don't happen. Ironically, I'm going to use the slow spell in order to move fast. Son of a gun! Are you kidding me? Screw off, Ventus. I've noticed when playing this board, whichever way you go at the start, you will get followed by one CPU and the other CPU just gets to go on their own. Like, that always happens. Okay. Taking a bit of a bold move here. Rolling free dice, because this is literally the rest of my hand. Okay. So if we go up... We go, oh, right? That's certainly an option. If we go this way, these two panels are really nice. This is really annoying to reach because it requires you to traverse across these uh, blank blocks here. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go this way, then we're gonna go up. Go. Let's see, do we want to put mine square there? Sure. All right. Aqua just gets there. to use Joker's fortune. Please don't do something stupid. Great, we are confused. This is awful. That's actually really, really bad. Bet you Ventus won't make a dumb mistake. Okay, well. Yeah. That was probably the dumbest way he could have gone, but. <gasps> oh, that's huge. Thankfully, I still get to choose which panel I move to. We're moving to the yellow uh, checkpoint, no question. Uh, no, we're not leveling up one of our panels. We're saving our money. <laughs> Everything goes up by another 10%. Alright, please go up. Thank you. By going up, this means we will get the money from the prize cube. Nice. Keyblade Glider is a really powerful command in general, but especially on this board of how big it is, you pretty much always want to fly to the yellow checkpoint, because it's so out of the way and hard to reach. Uh. Who is mowing the grass? It's winter. Oh no. If Aqua rolls high enough, she could be a huge butt and steal my party cube. Okay, good. She did it. Okay, they're both making dumb moves. Why are you going up this way? Oof. Oh, devastating. I don't feel too bad, though, because Ventus was being really annoying and following me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Ventus had to sell all but one of his stuff. Why did you go that way? There we go. Give me a thousand bucks. Oh my. Oh no, we don't. <laughs> you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Oh no, not Captain Dark. That's actually really bad. Disguised in shadows, the rogue racer reigns! 
I am Captain Dark. This is actually really bad. Captain Dark is the direct opposite of Captain Justice. If he gets summoned, he will steal GP from you every turn. But again, if you move past another player, he will move. He will go on and bother them instead. But because they are both now running away from me, this is actually extremely terrible. It basically means I'm going to get stolen from by Captain Dark over and over again. Okay. I didn't think that could happen when you were playing Command Board, but or er, playing through a Mirage Arena. But all right. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Games. And honestly, they'll probably just pass him right back to me again. Okay, no, no, no. Got a better. I've got a better plan. Did you see that? I'm gonna. I'm gonna meet them from this side. Move the opposite way, and we get to roll the party cube. Because I do not want Captain Dark stealing from me every single turn. That would be really bad. Okay, as long as I get, like... As long as I don't get, like, a one or a two, we should be good. And I'm out of command cards. Please, three or more, please. Thank you. All right. So I'm not sure which one Pete is following at this point, but he ain't following me. So that's what I wanted. Okay, he's following Aqua because she was next up in the uh, turn order. Nice. Is Aqua going to try to cut me off up from this side as well? Is this just going to be a game of like red light, green light? <laughs> okay, I could go for the low rolls now. If Aqua tries to cut me off... Then we just cut off Ventus. That's the way. Did you see that? Oh, no. Man, he takes a lot of money every turn. What is Ventus? Okay. No, no, we'll go with that. I don't know why Ventus decided to move that way, but I'll take it. Now, Ventus will have Captain Dark chase him. Aqua ah, gets to use Keyblade Glider to get a boost to the red checkpoint. Unless Ventus can pull a crazy whoop de woo maneuver. Nice. I think we'll be safe from him. That's the way. Aqua also might land on one of our panels on the way back. Okay. Actually, depending on our next roll, this could be bad. I really hope we get Keyblade Glider. Nope. Well, I'm not moving past Ventus if I can help it. Is Ventus going to roll enough to be able to pass it off to me? Nope. Oh, he's not even heading my direction. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> okay. I could fly over to the blue checkpoint. But Ventus is heading that way, and if he gets... A five or higher, pa Captain Dark will pass off to me. But I do need the blue checkpoint. And Captain Dark is not going to be around for a whole lot longer, so... All right. No, I'm, I don't really want to level up my panels. I want to keep my cash around, because there's a lot of stuff on this board that could just make you lose a lot of cash real fast.
Okay. <laughs> Ventus ain't catching us now. Unless we roll really low. Nope. See you, Ventus. There we go. Okay, he's gonna get close to us, but he still ain't gonna catch us. Thank you. Did you see that? Captain Dark is still here. What the heck? Does Captain Dark last for like ten turns or something? Like, good lord. He's taking so much money from the children. Nice. Ah. All right. There I'll take over go. Confusion Strike. Why not? Finally, Captain Dark vanished. Although this means that we could summon him again if we go onto a purple panel again. Or we could get Captain Justice. Yeah. Gotta say, Captain Justice is much more fun, where he gives out free money and you gotta keep him away from other people, rather than try to foist him off on other people. Nice. Oh, hey! Now we got Captain Justice. And Ventus is right next to me. Because of course he is. There we go. Well, great. <laughs> That's okay. Ventus can have him, because Ventus honestly needs a little bit of help. But I do not want Aqua grabbing him. Yep, so there goes Captain Justice. Well, you can pay me money anyways, then. Nice. That's fine. Because I'm going to do something real stinky. <laughs> I am going to ruin Aqua. I'm going to take her prize money. And make her lose a bunch of stuff. Ugh, Pete! <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for my close-up! There we go. Oh yeah. Where are you going, Ven? You're gonna be walking across a long set of blocks that have, uh, that'll make you pay a bunch of money. And they're gonna be make you pay more money than Captain Justice is gonna give you. Oh yeah, we're gonna get so much money from this prize cube. Watch. 
6,000 because of how much money Ven and Aqua lost in that section of stuff over there. Oh, yeah. And just like that, I have more money than the other two combined. That's the way. That's the way. All right, Ven, show us what you got planned. Okay, you know what? Could have gone worse. I would love to get another free fire surge. Yes, I would. I'll catch up. I don't think Aqua will win. No, even if. Never mind. Aqua won't win. Thanks, Captain Justice. You've got my vote. All right. All right, Aqua, you're now heading towards Terra Avenue, so see what you get. Oh my gosh, you land on my fire uh, my, my, on my fire raga. Thank you, Aqua. Ooh, you lucky Ven. Well, I mean you had to pay Aqua money. But you escaped from the death gorge. And there we go! You win! All right, Easy. Fire Surge and Confusion Strike are new commands. Not that we're using Fire Surge for anything. Thunder Surge is just better in every way. We got 707 medals though. That's nice. All right, at this point, since we've won on all of the command boards and we've unlocked all of the command boards, at this point, we're just trying to win as many times as we can, because I think we need to get seven wins in order to get the, all of the levels. So I'm just going to be playing on the Keyblade board over and over again to get some quick victories. Oh my gosh, Ventus is going to go bankrupt. He only has a hundred bucks left, and he has Captain Dark following him. And he is not nearly close enough to be able to pass him off to me, so... I, I never seen what happens if a character goes bankrupt before. Oh wait, is he gonna? Is he gonna fly to me or? Okay, he's gonna fly to the checkpoint, so he will get some extra cash from this, but it's not gonna help. Did you see that? It will buy him an extra turn, maybe two because he'll probably he may end up getting the prize from the party boss. All right. I don't think it's gonna help him all that much. There we go. Let's see what happens. No, he's not even getting the money from the party box. <laughs> no, he's just in debt? So like what happens? Okay! Let's stun him. Let's just add insult to injury. All right. Did you see that? How is he going to recover his debt? I guess he'll get his payday. But like there we go. after that, there's not a whole lot left you can do, bro. Oh my gosh, we finally won all of the command board <laughs> games that we needed to. So now if we go to reports, under arena missions, boom, 
Got all everything for Command Board, got everything for Rumble Racing. At last. Now, <laughs> we go over here, we're gonna equip a new deck, which is an old deck that you've probably seen before. Uh, it's gonna be Magnaga, Magnaga, and then a bunch of Fundagas. And we're also going to throw in a uh, Kiraga at the end. Because Kiraga is good. Also, we're gonna shortcut the uh, Kiraga. Actually, you know what, we'll keep the Meteor. Why not? So for arena mode, we're going to go back to Risky Riches, and with our current setup... Actually, if we're going to Risky Riches instead of the Meteor, we are going to have the Fandagas. Just so this way we can get the uh, more ice cream ingredients that we didn't get last time. Our current setup should be optimal for just obliterating the recipe, guys. And there you go, Risky Riches was a lot faster that time. If you go in with the right command deck, a lot of these arena battles can be made much, much easier. You win! Oh hey! And we got the bonus medals this time, cool. Alright, well let's keep it up. So, next up we are on... Treasure Tussle! This is the other game, this is the other arena match that has the ingredient guys. Wonderful. So we're going into Pete's Rec Room in Disney Town in order to take on these, this challenge. And with our setup, it should be very, very easy. The annoying part of this is that there are enemies that spawn on the seal here. Means we need to utilize the bumpers in order to get up here. Very annoying. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Otherwise, I mean, the enemies are an absolute joke given our stats and our command deck, but still. It's annoying having to, having to constantly go up to this healing. Especially since the enemies have a nasty tendency to just bury themselves underground. Were they immune even to our magnets? Oh, great. And if you're Terra, you can dash off a cliff really easily. Not on you! Okay, at least the other guy fell as well. Nope, he went underground like a little goon. There's still one up here. And of course he went underground. How does this even work? There's no dirt up here in Pete's rec room. Now we're up to round two. Oh, yay! It warped me down to the bottom to make me climb up again. Love that. Oh wait, they didn't even ugh. freaking birds. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. 
Two birds. Treasure chest keeps going underground. Final round. This is where I think we got the ice cream ingredients on the ceiling. Uh, there's always one that goes underground. And it's so annoying. Here we go. Ice cream guys are back. spawning down below, huh? Alright, do this. Dark Impulse! That's okay, I got my ice cream ingredients. And that's what I came here for. You win! Oh yeah, we got enough to get that bonus medal. Oh yeah. Lovely. Here we go. Now we can get Bio Barrage, which is a shot lock you either are going to have to get at the arena by exchanging medals, or there's a very, very, very small chance you can synthesize it by melding two commands together, but it's like a 5 or 10% chance, so I'd much rather grab it here. Beautiful. Let's start leveling that bad boy up. How have we not gotten this one yet? We've killed a whole bunch of enemies, but... Uh, I mean, oh, well. Oh, speaking of which, we really should take a look at our command list. Uh, command collection. We've got all the attack commands. We've got all the magic commands. We're missing two ice cream flavors, and then we're missing some group commands. And we're missing one shot lock. That's... Yep. All of this seems to be in order. Wonderful. All right. After treasure tussle, harsh punishment, tough as nails, to die three times or heal three times or less. Okay. This next fight will be a little trickier, so we're gonna change up our commands a little bit. I still want the Magnagas or the Magnaga. I think one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna equip two Sonic Blades. Sonic Blades are just generally really good overall. Maybe we go with a Mega Flare. You know what? We haven't used Mega Flare in a while. And it is crazy good against the enemies, so we'll use Mega Flare. We'll, we'll use Magnet first. Magnet, uh, Mega Flare, and Meteor. I like this. This seems fun. And I'll use Photon Charge, because we haven't actually shown that off yet. And Photon Charge is uh, very, very useful. Let's begin Harsh Punishment. We are overleveled, but the boss of Harsh Punishment is tough, so... Boost! Okay, Meteor did not do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Gotta be real. Mega Flare also did not do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Okay. Time for Photon Charge. Keep my 
seems to suck. Oh, beautiful. This is where we're really going to start abusing all of our commands, because now we're finally at the battles where it's like, it actually can be tough, even if you are hard level, just because of how many there are. Also, what's great about having two Sonic Blades, if you've got the max attack haste, is that you can basically just spam these two Sonic Blades over and over again. Once you've finished with the second one, the first one will have recharged again. And as you can see, with damage siphon and just how much damage we're doing, we can just spam shot locks now, pretty much. And yes, shot locks are very busted. Yeah, Sonic Blade is Terra, really, really good. This is why I didn't want to use Bio Barrage, because Bio Barrage is only level 1 and is not going to be very good at level 1. Critical impact! Okay, why is that guy not dying? Get out of here. Nobody invited you. Oh, I should have... I should have equipped a Thunder Surge or two. That's what I should have done. Blade Charge! I'm not sure if I've shown this off yet. We get a massive sword in our hands. Or like a giant magic sword. But it looks really cool. Blade Charge as a finisher is really cool as well. Blammo! And the Chaos Ripper is just incredibly powerful as well. Gotta love that. Yeah, Mega is not doing nearly the damage that I was expecting it to. I will not be taking this back in another arena of like... Bosht! This is... You see, Burp by Sleep, the combat gets pretty good once you get the hang of it and once you get uh, far enough into the game so that it's not just like, Quick Blitz! Strike Raid! Oh. Granted, Mega Flare is nowhere near as strong in Terra's hands as it is in the other character's hands. But it's still disappointing me. We turn to darkness! Round five. <laughs> You're done! Dude, Shotlocks look so cool. I don't care who you are, Shotlocks look so cool. There we go, we got Dark Star 2. Been waiting for that one. <laughs> you all still want to mess with me? I told you guys, Sonic Blade, good idea. You're done! It's funny because it's true. We haven't even had to use a Kiraga yet. Don't need to. We probably will once we get to the final round. And speaking of the final round, here we go, folks. Remember this guy? Yep! It's his next phase. He's no longer trapped in his... He now has legs. It is Iron and Prisoner free. And Shotlocks are definitely going to carry us through this. Each phase of... Each form of Iron and Prisoner gets progressively harder. And yes, there is a fourth Iron and Prisoner fight, and it's brutal. So. 
but I didn't do much. Sonic Blade is going to be great against him, though. Time for Sonic Blade again! <laughs> and we can just keep him indefinitely stunlocked with Sonic Blade. <laughs> Bye, Iron and Prisoner Free! <laughs> Five attack haste, two Sonic Blades, boom. As long as the enemy staggers through it, you can literally just indefinitely infinite combo them. It's almost unfair. Oh, I'm sorry, we did have to heal once. There we go, 300 medals. Hours. And we got free, free, free medals, and we cleared for harsh punishment. Okay, Meteor and Mega Flare. Not worth it. Our Solom's probably not going to be worth it either. Let's do the Thunder Surges. Those are great. Those are so great. So incredibly good. What else can we get? Okay, you know what? We could go for some Fundagas as well. Ooh, or Mind Square! I do, lo I do love me some Mind Square. Let's try that instead. Uh, nope, I want to. I wanted to go to Shot Locks. Actually, we'll try. We'll start leveling up Bio Barrage. Finish commands. We're now <laughs> Dark Star Two. Well, obviously we gotta in that bad boy. Time for submit. <laughs> Come on, you guys knew that was coming. But I think we're gonna go back to Bonk time. Still got to take a whole bunch of steps in order to get the next progression in that. All right, what can we do after Harsh Punishment? Copycat Crisis. Practice makes perfect. Use a combined total of at least 15 style changes and or shot locks. No biggie. No biggie at all. Oh, hey, we're back in Land of Departure. Back when it was still, you know, a thing. I don't like these guys. I don't like the Thunder Base enemies. They're no fun. Oh man, Mind Square doesn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Probably just... Oh, man. These enemies are annoying. They keep getting knocked too high in the air for me to hit them properly. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Oh, my gosh. Thunder Surge is so stupid. It's my favorite. <laughs> Take that! It's bonk time, okay. Bonk time ain't doing much. Should have picked a different finisher. Blah. Oh yeah, Bio Barrage leveled up, that's good. Let's just hope it levels up a bit more before we start using it. Oh boy, we got another strength level up. Man, the final boss is going to be an absolute joke. Which is a shame, because the final boss is kind of epic. It's bonk time! Uh, Magnaga gives no cares at all. Way to go, Terra. No. Oh, okay, don't.
Kablamo. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> Magnaga plus... Oh, never mind. We didn't get Magnaga plus critical impact because Magnaga always is just like, oh, you want dark impulse? Apparently, Magnet is a dark power. I don't agree with that, but all right. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, and at some point in the Kingdom Hearts games, you oftentimes just basically eventually become a god. Especially in games that are just incredibly broken, like Birth by Sleep. Oh, didn't want you to do that. Just get out of here. You fool, now that I'm at low health, all well, my commands recharge more quickly. Because of my reload boost ability when I'm when my HP is at 25% or less our commands reload twice as fast so that's fine I'll be at low health okay not super low health I don't want to be at one health because then I could die you guys didn't believe me I told you thunder surge is disgustingly good <laughs> oh hey remember this guy yeah we're fighting a tougher version of him now but he should still be pretty easy. The Mimic Master. So by a barrage, we just launched a series of poison orbs at him. Uh-oh. Stop it. How dare you. And look at how powerful Bio Barrage is. It doesn't look like much, but wow, it just absolutely wrecked him. There we go! More HP for defeating him. I will take it. <laughs> you win! Oh no, we didn't get 15 style changes in Shotlocks. We only got 13. That's okay. Get our way through Copycat Crisis. What do we have next? Keepers of the Arena. Here we go. Tough as nails, heal 15 times or less. Alright, here we go. Okay, so the mine squares are not good. We are unequipping those. What should we replace them with? We could do... Nah, Chaos Blade. We have Sonic Blade. That's that's good enough. We could get more Thunder Surges, honestly. Not a bad idea. Or we could get something like... No, even Meteor wasn't super good. Okay, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna move the Thunder Surges down, and we're gonna just equip some Fundagas. And is Bio Barrage now at the maximum level? It is! Okay. As much as Bio Barrage is fun to use, I think we're switching back over to Chaos Snake. Chaos Snake is just so insane. Round one. Okay, Fundog is also not very good in this situation. Oh my gosh, we well, should have equipped the Thunder Surges instead. But where's the enemies left? Take that. 
Oh, we should have unequipped Bark Time. Whoops. Even with all of them together, it's only doing that. Boom. Okay, tradi the traditional magic is just not cutting it for the arena. We gotta use stuff like Thunder... We gotta use attacks, like attack-based commands, like Thunder Surge or Sonic Blade, because that's where Terra specializes. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, come on, yeah. Stupid bird brains. Yeah, you can't escape Magliga. No, you cannot. Terra, maybe you should stop using the darkness. No, never. Sonic Blade Insta sends us into critical impact. I love it. Wow, critical impact don't kill the Mandrakes in one hit anymore. These Mandrakes are tough. Okay, Chaos Snake is not doing as much damage as I thought it was. I should have done. I should have had a different shot lock equipped. Well, I know that now. It's ridiculous how much damage a single... Oh, no. Okay, Hourglass, you gotta die. Okay, it will not let me lock onto the Hourglass for some reason. What the heck? I actually died. I'm not invincible. I thought I was, but I wasn't. That's fine. This means we can ditch our Fundagas. And replace them with something better. Like, say, more Thunder Surges. I'm also going to re-equip, um... Photon Charge. Photon Charge just seems to be so good. Alright, Keepers of the Arena. Here we go.
All right, round four. Oh, come on. Stop it, bro. No, my gosh, he just wrecked me. Wow. Okay, we're gonna need two cures for this fight. All right, let's try this again. Fight. He just can stun lock you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Finally got a full shot lock off. Honestly, this strategy of dash plus thunder surge really sick is really safe. Come on, finish him. That was weird. It didn't. Uh, okay. He still got to hit me even after he died. Okay. I see how it is. Now we continue on with more rounds of a bunch of enemies. Ooh, yeah. Magnaga plus Dark Impulse. Very little is gonna survive that. You down. Okay, I underestimate Dark Impulse is crazy powerful. It's great. Why wouldn't you want to use the darkness? It's way cool. Wrecked. Yeah. 
this. <laughs> Even just one Magneta can make such a world of difference. I guess one Magnaga can make a difference. Enough said. <laughs> I've got the whole world in the palm of my hand. The best part of Shalots is that you're invincible while using them. I believe we've got the grand finale. And I am not looking forward to this guy. Yep. Here he is, the head honcho. The main guy in the arena. Welcome, Iron and Prisoner 4. We're gonna really have to rely heavily on Shot Locks and Thunder Surge to get our way for this guy. Especially as Terra, this fight is a nightmare. Just gonna keep sucking us in. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, so he's appearing over there. I tried to dash away, but couldn't. Alright, he's going under the ground. Okay, it didn't let me dash. That's cool. Max level shot lock deals an insane amount of damage. And with how many hits you're gonna take, damage siphon will keep refilling your focus gate so you can just keep doing this over and over. Okay. This part is terrible. At this part, he's just gonna keep throwing these wall pieces around. We just gotta kinda we kinda gotta just keep dashing and hope we can avoid them all. Make sure you've got Kiragas on you so you can heal all your HP back. Try to keep uh, during this part. Try to keep an eye on where his little blue thing is going, and be on the opposite end of the screen as him when he does, so you can avoid his explosions. He's done. Here we go. This should finish him. 
Unless he goes in the ground like a goon. Nope, there we go! Take that, Iron Imprisoner 4. Yes. You gotta hope you can just max level shot lock him a couple of times. That's really the only way of dealing with him reliably as Terra. And it helps that we're such a high level. Oh, ha ha! I just got the bonus medals, bro. And here we go. We obtained Ultima Cannon. That's what I was after. All of that work for the arena. All for that. Ultima Cannon is the last shot lock in the game. It is Terra's ultimate shot lock. The ultimate shot lock. Transform your Keyblade into an enormous weapon that causes massive explosions with every blast. Oh yeah, this one's good. And you might think, hey, that name Ultima Cannon sounds a little familiar. Well, yes, we have heard of that uh, before somewhere. However, exactly what it does, I will leave that as a surprise because I think we'll wait for the right moment to unleash it, but I will level it up off screen. Oh, we can get a secret gem, a, pre a precious synthesis material used in melding. It raises the resulting command to the maximum level and attaches an ability. So if you meld the command and attach a secret gem to it, it instantly becomes the highest level. So you don't have to level it up. Which I guess it's all right, but eh, whatever. Um, at this point, could get Trinity limit. I mean, at this point, let's just get the command, so here we go, we'll get Trinity Limit. We still have to grind up on a bunch of... We have to grind up on a bunch of Arena Medals, but honestly, I don't need to bother doing that. We can save that for a bonus video. It's fine. I really just wanted to get the Ultima Cannon, because Ultima Cannon is really, really, really great. Alright, at that point, we have officially done pretty much everything that we can do... As Terra, the only thing I think we have left to do is getting everything in Ice Cream Beat, which is obnoxious, and then actually doing the Keyblade Graveyard, both of which we will save for next time. So next time we finish up Terra's story, everybody. So this was definitely a ridiculously long uh, video. Uh, just so you guys know, this video, uh, the recording session, we are I'm about to reach the three and a half hour mark for recording. However, 90% of this, or like, a huge amount of this is going to get cut out because a lot of this is just me playing rumble racing or me just doing the command board and i'll show off a little bit of the command board like the secret board but most of that we can just cut and if the remaining video is still super long then i can always split it into two so next time we finish terra story everybody look forward to that thanks for watching until we meet again my friends have a great day and god bless